Hello everyone, it is Noble7, otherwise known as Jake here, and the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom trailer dropped today, and guys, I am super excited, I'm so hyped to play this game, uh, it comes out uh, May 12th, I am super excited, I cannot wait, I'm, I'm definitely going to be going and pre-ordering this, I, I'm just wrestling with myself of whether or not I'm going to get the Collector's Edition or the regular edition, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, this is my favorite game franchise, and watching this trailer, I was a little skeptical at first of, of, you know, we got the gameplay trailer, we got the other trailer that came out, and I was still kind of like, I don't know, we just haven't got a whole lot on it. I'm, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. I'm, I'm hopeful, but I'm skeptical. I watched this trailer, guys. My mind has completely changed. Like, I am, I'm so hyped for this right now. So, so hyped that I went back and I rewatched the trailer at, at 0.5 speed. And I'm going to do it again right now with all of you, so you guys can see some of the interesting things that that uh, you might have missed if you were just watching through it the first time at, at full speed. So I went through it half speed, and there's some very interesting things that I found. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that right right now. All right, so let's go. We're gonna watch it without sound because uh, the, it sounds cursed uh, at half speed with the sound off. All right, so we're fading in. Um, we have uh, obviously we're looking at the sky right now. But we're gonna watch the whole thing at half speed. And I just want to point out a few things that that I noticed because I've already watched it one time at half speed. I just want to point out some things that that uh, I've noticed. So obviously, there's a lot of sky islands as you can you can see in the background. There's there's a ton of them just all over the the place. That looks like maybe Death Mountain, like it's still or like it got cursed with malice. Okay, we notice um a choo choo fighting a uh one of those sentinel things i think is what they're called i can't remember there's there's blue fire still right there um that's something i took of note this thing right here this is one of those i can't remember what they're called I already forgot what they're called but it looks different obviously than the other ones that we saw in the gameplay trailer and he's using an axe to cut down a tree uh, we have link uh coming in and he's wearing that new outfit that we've noticed and looking on his hip it looks like he's got uh those tears the the, the vessel that carries uh tears on his hip looks like of course, he's got the uh, the Sheikah arm, and the shield he's using, I noticed, kind of looks very like it's like it's Sheikah, uh, possibly. That's that's what I feel. I love this fade in with the uh, with the name of the game. It looks so awesome and so cool. Uh, another thing I noticed the, there's like a Nazca line almost in the background, I, and I'm just now noticing that. I can't tell if that's a shrine or if maybe that's Malice. I, the main point I want to make was this this na It looks like a Nazca line in the background. I, I don't know. I'm unfamiliar with that symbol. Uh, that looks like a tower, uh, one of the towers in the background that you unlock um, in Breath of the Wild. Not unlock, but you, you know what I mean. The One of the map towers. Um, of course, we've got a village. I don't, I don't think that's a village we've seen before. We've got little settlements. Uh, they're trying to recreate Castletown, it looks like. They're trying to rebuild it, so I think that's really cool. And it's got the sigil of the, the loft wing on all the tents and everything. Um, I'm not sure what that thing is, some kind of rock or something. This I know is in Breath of the Wild, this area. I'm unfamiliar. It's been so long since I've played Breath of the Wild. It's been a, a year or two. I'm unfamiliar of where the area is at, but I do know that that is in Breath of the Wild, which does it's the same map. Then, of course, right here, we get this really cool um, moment where Ganondorf's tower, uh, not tower, good lord, what is wrong with me? It's been a long day. Um, His castle raises, and I don't know if these, these things falling, if that's kind of like where the part of the sky islands are falling because we saw that in the gameplay trailer of one of them fell uh, of course i don't know if this is ganondorf or if this is demise or if this is demise inhabiting ganondorf that i freaked out when i saw it of course we have this scene that we saw of link and zelda and zelda's falling it looks like link's arms got coated in malice something i want to point out let me pause this if you notice i'm going to pause a few times uh zelda's had i just noticed this too her hand is glowing but also like it looks like maybe her pocket is glowing so I don't know if that's magic or we'll see it here in a minute. She's got like this like tear looking thing in her hand. I'm thinking that maybe that's that is what we're seeing here in this clip. Uh, we've got Link running across the desert. There's another one of those Nazca lines in the background. This looks like hopefully a temple with like fire, uh, like a fire temple inspired type thing. I'm, I'm hoping anyway. Um, I love classic Zelda, so I'm hoping that that's what that is. Uh, this here, we see like uh, some kind of ship in the sky, which I don't know, maybe that's a dungeon, uh, or maybe that's just something cool to go visit. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's something interesting. Uh, obviously, it is. Uh, this looks like it could possibly be some kind of sky puzzle or something. This I lost my mind at. First of all, hang on, let's, let's back that up a little bit. Um, 
look at the outfit that Link has on. It looks like it's maybe it's some kind of like um um flight suit, maybe uh maybe created or crafted by the Rito uh to help him glide and whatnot. Uh to kind of help with the paraglider. And also, look, he's flying through lasers. I didn't know that the they're turning this into Mission Impossible. Well, goodness gracious, this is so cool. Uh, this this looks like, uh, I mean, that looks like a giant gumball machine, if you ask me, and you're turning a little thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe Link had to throw some quarters in there. Oh, he's holding his sword, too, while he's doing that. I just noticed that he's got a sword out while he's pushing this around. I'm hoping maybe this is like a, a dungeon puzzle or something, uh, or to open something. He's paragliding through, looks like one of the mazes. This looks so cool. Okay, so something to note, these are people fighting back. These are like farmers and villagers fighting back against uh, moblins. And I believe I saw, let's back it up a little bit. I believe I saw, uh, yeah, some book goblins there fighting. And it looks like they're all wearing some kind of headgear. Even even the uh, the villagers that are fighting back. Um, that moblin has like, looks like ox horns on its head. Uh, they're wearing some kind of weird head garb. Uh, looks like he's going up. Okay, this, I, I heard someone say what the name of this is. I have no clue. Looks scary. Looks scary. So I don't know if this is, I mean, it, it looks like it's shrouded. It looks like the enemy is shrouded behind with some malice stuff that we see. So probably something we'll have to fight. I'm uneducated on what this this uh, thing is, so forgive me for that. Very, very cool shot of Link uh, turning around on the horse. That's really awesome. This is some kind of golem. I don't know. I, I, guys, I'm so excited. I, I just can't wait to find out what all this stuff is. Link looking rather confused here. Uh, still wearing the champion's garb. I feel like this is going to be a flashback that he's having of, of he's just remembering what Hyrule Castle used to look like. I've got a, I don't know why, but I feel like he, this is going to be like a dream sequence that he has of remembering uh, what Hyrule Castle used to look like. And this... Uh, I'm not going to turn the sound back on. Uh, I know I, I probably should, but it sounds so cursed at half speed. This is whenever that guy is talking to Zelda. And I don't know who he is, and he says that our last line of defense is Link uh, in the legendary blade that he holds. Uh, so, of course, nice shot of the Master Sword. I, I love this design for the Master Sword. I think it's kind of been the same since Twilight Princess, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I've always loved this design for it. Even, like, the, the green handle wraps, that's a beautiful addition to the sword. Yeah, I feel like it's just an iconic sword in gaming, or just an iconic sword in general, and I assume this is Link drawing it. I still don't know who this guy is. We can't see him. I don't know. Zelda's got some kind of weird dress on. I, it looks like that, okay, this is that thing I'm talking about. It looks like it's around her neck of the thing that I think that was glowing, and we'll see here in a minute. Okay, Link on a sky island. I and Or no, he's not on a sky island. He's flying on this thing, so I don't know what this is going to be. Okay, this is something I'll pause on. So at first, whenever I was watching this the first time. I actually thought that was the Master Sword because it was going by so quick. Whenever I slowed it down, I believe that that is going to be a Royal Claymore. And using the Fuse ability, uh, he is you, you can combine it with a Royal Shield. And, and what's so cool is he actually uses it right here. He, um, uh, oh, he parries it with the Shield Sword. So I think that's super cool. And these are more of those Sentinel things. Um, that's a giant ball that he's flying over, maybe going into. I can't tell what that is, if that's maybe a Goron, or I'm guessing it's a new enemy. Uh, I'm not sure. Now, this is, I believe, uh, Rivali's descendant, or one of them, maybe. Okay, this is a cool thing of, I don't know if he's if this is going to be like a mission, or like it's a side quest, if you can help these settlers move. Uh, I think it's really cool that Link's actually helping settlers here. Uh, I'm so excited for this, guys. Okay. This is one of the abilities that we saw in the gameplay trailer. We got an Octorok shooting a flaming rocket link. And this is, uh, I like to call it uh, Will Smith's ability. It's rewind time to uh, just shoot the rock back uh, at the Octorok and use it to kill uh, the Octorok. Um, this, okay, this is where the fuse ability is going to become broken. So I've noticed that like all of the Sheikah abilities that you could use, uh, a lot of times are used for speed running, uh, very clever and interesting ways to to kill enemies. I, that's something that I loved about Breath of the Wild is that you had a million ways that, that you could attack a situation. You, you, you could do it quietly. 
you, you could do it just right up in the middle of it. One of my favorites was to just throw bombs at everybody because they'd run up to them because they didn't know what they were at first, and then you blow them up, and they just take a bunch of damage. And sometimes they're still confused by them, and they'll run back over to them, and then eventually you can kind of start picking some off and everything, and then just go in full ham and just start whacking dudes, you know? Um, this fusibility is going to be amazing. I think that that's going to be the highlight. I mean, look, he's got a rocket fused to the shield to help him fly, and this is a much bigger... This almost looks like even Tide Island. I don't think that it is. It's definitely an island. Uh, but you see some enemy structures, and that enemy almost looks like he's got a... No, that's a bow. That's just a regular bow. It almost looks like a crossbow. But mark my words, this fusibility is going to be amazing just to see the wacky, goofy things that people are going to come up with by fusing two items together. I know I'm going to try and fuse a whole bunch of things together. That's for sure. Okay, this looks... this this And this is not just from me slowing the footage down. Link is actually moving slower here, so I don't know if maybe this is like a time, I wouldn't say dilation, uh, maybe like a time slowing ability that can help you jump farther in for a longer period of time. Because if you notice, it, it looks like he's jumping much slower and uh, farther. And let me see if I can get this. Okay, so I do believe that is Death Mountain, and it looks like pure malice coming out of Death Mountain. So maybe that's where Ganondorf has made his home. Uh, at. I don't know. Okay, this is really cool. It looks like you're in some kind of factory or some kind of mining facility, and you're Link's fighting one of those things. Okay, this is one of the things that made me lose my crap whenever I watch it. So obviously we see, first and foremost, you got to, uh, I believe these are called Talos. Like I said, forgive me for enemy names. It's been so long since I played the game. It's been a little over a year. Uh, on, we have an enemy base on the back of it, and we have Link has made his own, like, mech thing to go and fight it. I don't know what is on the arm here. You can see that's what the fusibility does. I was thinking that maybe the fusibility uh, is limited of like maybe you can only fuse like five things together, but this is much, much more. You can tell all of this stuff is fused together. So that ability is going to be wacky and crazy. I, I cannot wait to see what kind of shenanigans people are going to come up with. And obviously you got Link fighting that. Um, this is horse armor, I've noticed. I don't remember if there's horse armor in Breath of the Wild. I might be wrong whenever I say that there's not. Because I don't remember. I know that you could put, like, the Guardian armor on it, to, I think, to call it from anywhere. Uh, and there was another, some kind of armor you could put on it. But this looks like maybe there's a little bit more you can do. Uh, looks like you can take a ruby and combine it, fuse it with an arrow. And it does, like, the same as fire arrows. Or maybe he's just using a fire arrow with a ruby on it. And this is an interesting outfit Link's wearing. I can't tell. Maybe that's, like, a reskin of the, uh, the... What is it called? Like the gladiator? Not gladiator. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. The, the the berserker armor, I think. The berserker set. And also, look at the sword on his back. I, that's a maybe a knight or a traveler sword, possibly. Uh, I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. It looks like all of the weapons are still held over from Breath of the Wild, but I don't know if they're gonna have the same durability deals or whatnot. And also, this looks like he's charging up whatever this is. It's almost it reminds me of a Beamos. It seems like if he's shooting it with something and he's using it against those other people. This is amazing. So this is some kind of spider. I'm hoping maybe this is the boss. And like we said, this is, I believe, Rivali's descendant. So Link is working together with them to fight that. Okay, now, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so this is Zelda. This is the little thing I was telling you about earlier, that I think that this is the little, um, this thing that's going to be in her hands that you'll see. This thing right here, I believe this is what is referred to as a tear. Don't quote me on that. No idea. I have no clue. Um, I have not seen the game yet. Uh, so I can't, can't say that for sure. But I think that that is what was glowing in her pocket whenever she was falling and Link was trying to catch her. I, I don't know. That's, that's just what my head, that's where my head goes. All right. So obviously she's looking at it. This is going to be an important item that she has. And here, I think, I'm guys, I'm so excited. So we see pure like malice energy and it, all of the enemies are, are getting beefed up from the malice. Even the Lionels here. Look at that Lionel. Oh my goodness. The Lionels are going to be scary again. They were already scary. So we see, it looks like Link's arm gets maybe corrupted or destroyed by Malice. And, he, and I'm, I'm assuming this is what destroys the Master Sword. Because you can see the Master Sword in there very clearly getting wrapped up in Malice. So I'm, I'm, and then here we go, boys. Here he is. The king, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Ganondorf. I don't know if this is just Ganondorf or if this is going to be Ganondorf powered up with the Malice of Demise or, or what. But I just, can we just take a minute and appreciate Ganondorf's design? Fully hydrated, he is back to 110%, and he is ready to fight Link straight up. Can we take a moment and appreciate 
how good this design for Ganondorf is. I love it. He he just looks so amazing. All right, so it looks like he's running some kind of some kind of like muddy Mul Mulduga almost is what I think it looks like. So maybe that's a little boss fight. Once again, Rivali's uh, he's wearing the the Rito suit too. I don't know if that's a great fairy or not right there. I don't know who this is going to be. It, to me, it looks like an older, like one of the older great fairies. Not not one of the ones from Breath of the Wild, but one of the ones from other games. I could be completely wrong. She's got the same earrings that Zelda has later on. Uh, very noticeable, like very pointy ears. Pointier than Zelda and Link's. And she's got around her neck one of those tear-like things. And we see right here she's going to do some kind of like Biden blast ability here and just, just destroy whatever those are. Now this is Urbosa's uh, descendant, and it's very clear that she has Urbosa's ability. Um, this I thought was really, first of all, my dude right here, my guy wearing a bucket, absolutely legend. That's the, the best thing he could be wearing right now. Um, we notice this looks like maybe a local militia that is going to help Link do something. We've, we've got a Goron here, we've got a Gerudo, we've got some just uh, Hylians, normal traveling people. Another thing I want to point out, look at Link's sword here. That's a very weird looking sword i don't know if that's just a random sword that he's that, that you'll be able to pick up or if that's a special sword or something but I, I just thought that that design was really interesting if it's got those like waves on it, it looks pretty cool um once again he's still got the same shield he's been using so i've got a feeling that maybe that's just going to be like his regular shield that we use this is something i thought was really cool here's sidon uh you know uh mifa's descendant of course everyone loves sidon and he's oh well i wasn't tabbed out of that he is helping you fight so i don't know if this is going to be like champions descendants are helping you fight or if they're just helping you in those areas because we've already seen uh we've seen three three of them right here uh, oh hey there's another one of those little charm things i wonder if those are important hmm. uh so there's sidon there's um Urbosa's descendant and uh rivali senate forgive me for not remembering names i'm terrible with remembering names uh and here's like this i am super excited for. i don't know if this is just like ganondorf as a hydra if this is just going to be a random dragon you fight. Guys, we have not fought a dragon, I don't think, since Twilight Princess, from what I can remember. And that dragon fight, uh, Argorok, I believe is his name, amazing fight. So I'm hoping that we get something as cool as that here when Link fights this dragon. I Okay, this is something else that I noticed. Zelda has the Master Sword, just like she did whenever Link got put into the Shrine of Resurrection. So I have a theory here about this. I don't know if this is 100%. We know that the Master Sword gets destroyed. We've seen it. It gets messed up. I'm wondering if Zelda took the Master Sword to the skies, which, I don't know, that's a little counterintuitive because we see Link with a broken Master Sword at some point in the sky. So maybe maybe she took it to the sky to try and repair it, and then we meet up with her later, and we get it. And she's like, I figured out what you have to do to fix the Master Sword so you can defeat Ganondorf and, and all of this malice and everything. So I don't know that for a fact. That, that's just kind of like, Maybe that's my little theory that I have right now that she's going to take it to the sky. So I have no clue, but let's keep going. And we get the, uh, I love this little design. That That's obviously going to be Ganondorf right there or Ganon. We see some moblins, some bogoblins. Um, we see Link here. Um, we see a person down here. I don't know who that's going to be, but we see some knights over here. Maybe that's not Link. Maybe those are just some knights. And there's some Rito look, or no, maybe not Rito. I don't know, something flying up there. But this is telling about the battle that's going to ensue, I would assume. But it just looks... I love how the Master Sword looks coming through the Z right there. It looks so awesome. Of, of we know that it's going to be fractured and broken, and then we see like a, a, like a design down here of it. And we've got one more little clip at the very end here that we'll see. And also someone will point out right here... It might be right after this. Yeah. Uh, this is where Zelda says, Link, come find me, or please find me. I can't remember what she says exactly. But she's also got a different outfit on, I've, I've noticed, throughout some of these things. Like, you know, she's got her typical blue outfit on, and then she uh, she swaps over and is wearing this thing. Uh, 5, 12, 23. Guys, I don't know if I can wait another month for this game. I am, like, you see how excited and happy I am just talking about this. Guys, I am, I am blown away. I cannot wait to play this game. This is... The Legend of Zelda has been my favorite game franchise forever. I like ever since I was a kid, so I'm super excited to play this, and I hope you are too. Well, guys, I hope that you found that uh, informative and interesting. Uh, as you see, I'm still wearing my my work clothes. That's how excited I was to get here, uh, get home from work, and film this video. I, I, I'm guys, I'm so happy. I'm 
so happy right now. I'm so excited. Um, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitch, I stream uh, every Monday and Thursday, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. You can uh, find that link in the description below, also on my page. Hey, please do me a favor. Uh, subscribe, drop a like on the video if you like this. I plan to be doing a lot more content on this channel. I'm just trying to get some interesting things planned out for you guys. I've got a lot of ideas up here, but just not a lot of time to put them together. So uh, please stick around with me. Like I said, if you want to hang out with me, uh, just come uh, follow me on Twitch. That's that's probably the best way to get in touch with me is to just come watch me on Twitch. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.